weight form and as well as for my heart. Among the hills of northern Pakistan, a girls' primary school stands halfway up a mountain. Going to school. 13 year old Manaza is in the fifth grade. In 2005, the school was badly damaged in an earthquake. The present building is now 10 years old. The classrooms, constructed from wooden boards, look dilapidated. There's no lighting inside. The whole school is served by a single light bulb hanging outside. After school, Manaza walks home along a winding mountain path. She begins her homework as soon as she gets there, anxious to finish it before sunset. Electricity is very expensive in Pakistan, accounting for roughly 10% of the average family's monthly expenditure. There are frequent power cuts, and not only in places like Manaza's village. Even the big cities like Islamabad and Karachi are regularly affected. Department stores, hospitals, government offices, and many residential buildings are equipped with their own independent generators. In the summer, the national electricity shortfall can reach as much as 5 million kilowatts. Electricity shortages have become a bottleneck in the industrialization of developing countries. In other words, factories and production lines in many countries are often forced to shut down due to a lack of power. At an electric appliance manufacturing company in Xinjiang, engineers are working on an overseas order. The giant transformer is a key piece of equipment in a power station. It alters the voltage produced by the power generator so that the electricity can be transferred to the power grid. The rebuilt Karakoram Highway will transport the China-made large transformers across the Karakoram Mountains and Hindu Kush into Pakistan. Life is about to change for Manaza. Not far from her village is the confluence of the Neelam and Ajelam rivers. Here, an electricity generating plant is under construction. With an installed capacity of 963,000 kilowatts, it will be the largest hydropower plant in Pakistan. Beneath it lies the second longest underground tunnel in Asia. This diversion route extends for nearly 70 kilometers, a distance it takes the train 40 minutes to complete.
using the latest excavating machinery, another tunnel is being dug into the mountain at a rate of six meters a day. This tunnel will be 10 kilometers long. A huge dam is being built at the plant. For the past seven years, more than 300 engineering and management personnel from China have been working here, alongside their Pakistani colleagues. The Neelam Jellum plant is to date the largest overseas hydropower project undertaken by a Chinese company. With its completion in 2017, it will be capable of providing 500 million kilowatt hours of electricity a year. This will alleviate 15% of the power shortfall in Pakistan and to generate revenue of 45 billion Pakistani rupees or 400 million US dollars. The plant is one of 22 cooperative projects agreed by China and Pakistan in the energy field. 